Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well and having a really good weekend. So, the title of this reading is, How Does He Feel About Me Right Now? So, for this reading, please picture your person in your mind. Imagine them. And then, look at these three sets of cards. Which set of cards resonates with you most? So, please choose between set of cards number one, set of cards number two, or set of cards number three here. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. So right now I'm going to place aside set of cards number two and a set of cards number three. So I can go ahead now with this set of cards number one. How does he feel about me right now? So let's first of all place these cards down. Okay, so I just want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me all of those details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal and I do offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours of booking and that's available seven days a week. So let's go ahead now. This is an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind. So, you and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. So, let's go ahead now. So, you are being represented by the justice energy. They are being represented by the Two of Swords. Okay, strong uh, energy here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra coming through straight away. You don't need to be or they don't need to be one of these uh, signs. But, you know, the Swords energy, it's all about the mind. And the it, it can, you know, with what I'm getting here, this Justice energy and this Two of Swords, this can be about um, like some kind of difficulty here regarding the outcome of this connection okay now you're being represented by justice so you know we look at this card and we see everything is perfectly in balance okay so you know we we actually see the scales of justice here and the sword being held up um you are seeking justice you are seeking balance it, it, to me it feels like um you know, for some of you, I get the energy, you're waiting for an outcome, okay? Um, and I say this because, you know, they are being represented by the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords um, is about making a decision that needs to be made, however difficult it may be, okay? So let's go in deeper now and take some cards for your person. Um, okay, let's take three for them. There's something here about the way it's about the meeting of the minds, okay? Um, this is a much deeper than a, like a surface you know, kind of connection where, you know, it's it, there's just a, a superficial level uh, of attraction. It, it, you know, it runs far, far deeper here, okay? Um, let's take these cards. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. They are soul-searching regarding this connection with you, okay? You could be dealing with a Virgo. You're dealing with somebody who's very, very analytical, and sometimes it makes them stagnate. It makes them. It makes it impossible for them to do 
what it is that the heart desires because they overthink everything, okay? I just get this energy that they're overthinking. Um, let's continue. Oh, the sun energy. Uh, yeah, overthinking. You know, what I'm getting here is the decision, and that's always true with the two of swords. The decision is not as difficult as it seems, okay? Um, the bottom line here is, is that you make them very, very happy. This is how they feel. Um, now, this this could be, you know, for some of you, it's the energy that they've got to make. There's a big decision. There's a decision here that could be concerned with um, leaving one connection to be with you, okay? Because when, when we see the King of Swords, we see... We can see planning and strategy and the need to think ahead. Um, now, it doesn't need to be that. There's something here about them doing the inner work that needs to be done uh, and reaching the height of kind of like how they truly feel and then taking action because the King of Swords always takes action. Okay, you... you you make them so happy it's just coming through so strongly and they're, they're trying to work their way towards you this is this is how they feel okay but the, like i say that there are some like difficult energies here um queen of wands here um there's a lot of passion between you two see it immediately uh you both know what you want uh, now it's just about making the decision to move forwards okay their energy to, yeah, the decision. It's all about big decision here. The two of swords for them plus the chariot energy. It's very much about a big decision. Now, I want to take three cards of their energy towards you. Now, when I see the Queen of Wands, I immediately, immediately, I get the energy of feistiness and passionate energy. So th there could be something here about the the clash, you know, th th there could be some kind of clash between you two. Um, but it's because you both care so much. Yeah, they feel like you're their destiny, you know, it's incredible. Uh, the chariot energy with the wheel of fortune. They feel like they're destined to be with you. They feel like there's a time for you to, okay? Six of swords with the two of pentacles. Um, what I get here is, they've, it's kind of like, they've, they know they've got to move towards you. There's a protected energy here, but, there is some weighing up and there is some um, emotional uh, kind of instability with them right now, okay? Now, we could be dealing with an earth-water combination here. Um, you know, you could be a water sign. They could be an earth sign or vice versa, okay? Um, we've got a lot of back and forth here this connection could have been off and on um let's see oh yeah it could have been off and on because yeah your energy towards them the justice is the reunion it's kind of like i get the energy you're waiting for the justice here got strong kind of like this twin flame energy like that it may not have been the easiest journey and, and even going forwards it may not be the easiest journey here um, but you two are at home with each other. Be in no doubt of, you know, how they feel about you right now. It's, it's, it's very passionate. It's very turbulent. They're soul searching. You make them so happy. But there is some big decision and some kind of like planning going forwards here. Um, there it is. Yeah, the King of Wands. The Queen and the King of Wands facing each other. Could be dealing with double fire. Okay, Leo Aries Sag. Um, it's kind of, 
I just get the energy of opposites attract in here, opposites attract. So it's kind of like the, there's this clash, but it's kind of like under the, the energy is just like undeniable, okay? Um, there could be something about like the ethos, even like, yeah, like they could be having to make this decision because they are with somebody else. But also with this King of Wands now, I see, and the Queen of Wands and the Justice energy, I'm seeing something about like, yeah, the ethos, like, um, something to do with this, this could literally be your boss, or there is, there is something in the way of this, okay, uh, but as I say, it could really truly be the clashing energy that could literally have been split, also take it as it resonates, okay, for your situation, if it resonates, take it, um, Okay, let's take this card going forwards. That high priestess, that inner knowing, inner knowledge, okay? Trust your instincts in this connection. We also have, yeah, answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? That is that is for both of you, okay? Because there's something here that's destined between you two. Um, yeah, it, it's really quite magical. It... It's kind of like you two, it's like the two perfect ingredients uh, like being put together, but then there can be fireworks, okay? So that can be that can be good sometimes, but that can be really, really difficult also, okay? Because there's a real spark here between you two. I see it so strongly. Um, so... I'm going to take this outcome card now. Uh, let's take a look. We have, yeah, the Page of Swords. So this is the way your minds are working together. Sometimes it's for the good. Sometimes it can be re it can be harsh. It can be, there can be some words that are said in haste and, you know, that, that neither of you mean. And uh, there's also something here about exposure, about the truth coming to light. Take it as it resonates. Um... Let's take three now for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. Okay, let's take a look. We have... The Queen of Cups. The Four of Wands again. So there's healing here. The Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands. Your energy towards them. The Four of Wands, the homecoming energy. And the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, we've got true potential here. Okay. There's something here deep down that you know to be true regarding the strength of your bond and that, that it can go forwards and it can be, be strong and it can be real and it can be long lived okay the homecoming card with the ten of pentacles and the queen of cups healing reunion longevity okay so i love this uh if you found this reading helpful i'd be so grateful for that thumbs up and if you subscribe you will catch my next reading i've been exceptionally busy with private readings just lately um but i'm really hoping this week to get some you know more content uh, more readings out to you so uh, i'll leave that one there and i really hope that you found it helpful uh, i'm going to move on now to set of cards number two Okay, so right now I'm moving on to this set of cards number two. How does it feel about me? 
right now. So this is going to be an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind. So first of all, let's get these cards placed down. Just as I do, I want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal and I do offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround and that's available seven days a week. So having said that, let's go ahead with this reading now. You and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together and the outcome card never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted here are our clarifying cards i'll also be clarifying with this deck here so let's go ahead now you are being represented by the knight of wands very passionate energy this is the energy of you um wanting to see your person face to face this is the energy of you know that knight almost like in shining armor it's kind of like you you want to do, do get the energy just straight away you want to know where you are okay you're feeling very passionate about your person um but let's continue nine of swords for them okay so you need to know that you know they're clearly clearly thinking about you an awful lot the nine of swords mind energy it's difficult energy it's you know it's it's the card of anxiety worry um and it's it's it literally you know we look at the depiction on the card it is literally the card of having sleepless nights here so um you know immediately i do get some a form of energy here that there could have been a split okay because you want them here with you now and they are very stressed and full of anxiety okay they can't even sleep so I, I i'm getting you know strongly you know that there could for some of you there has been a split um you know you could be a fire sign as could they uh leo aries sag and then we also have the flip side aquarius gemini libra that could be them or you okay but let's let's go deeper now let's take three cards for them There's something here about, as well, about, you know, there's something about what it truly is. Because it's very clear, the energy between you two, it's very clear they've got strong feelings. Otherwise, they wouldn't be represented by something as powerful and, you know, kind of stressful as the Nine of Swords. So there's something here about um, things being brought to light brought into the open okay um let's take three cards for them okay judgment okay Four of Pentacles. Oh, they want to be with you. Okay, this is how they feel. There's a judgment call they've got to make here. Um, they're holding stuff in right now. Judgment with the Four of Pentacles, but they want to be with you. It's kind of like they want to be back with you or they want the new beginning with you. Okay, it's very clear. That's coming through so, so strongly. Um, let's take this past position. Ten of Cups. Love. They love you. You know, take it as it resonates. But there's mu what I'm getting for those of you that it resonates for is that you two are in love with each other. It's very, very clear. Okay? You complete each other. Um, now, clearly with the Ten of Cups, this can be a wish or desire to... Be in a completely emotionally balanced, loving commitment with each other. It can also represent, okay, um, the fact that 
especially with these other cards, you know, that you two did used to be like this and, and now you're not, unfortunately, because of what's happened. There's still, there is love between you two, deep, deep love. You emotionally complete each other. This is what you need to know. You two could have been married in the past and even have children together. Um, and if not, there is something here about always having wanted that with each other. Okay, because it's very deep. It's very powerful, the Ten of Cups. Um, oh, and the energy towards you, the Nine of Cups, one step away. They know they're only a step away from you. And you're feeling it too with this Knight of Wands. You're only one step away. There's something here about the ease at which this could truly complete, okay? But there's got to be there's got to be some give here. There's there's got to be a breakthrough. Um, let's take three cards. That energy towards you. Okay. The Six of Wands. This is the card of things being out in the open. Okay. This is the card of a public celebration and success. The Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles coming out of conflict, getting things out in the open. Manifestation, yeah. They want to. They want to manifest with you. They want to communicate with you, how they truly feel. There it is. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's continue. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like now the Ace of Wands. You hold them in your mind. You hold them in your heart. Um. It's all inside your mind. There's an energy here of somebody from a long time ago. The love I lost. I just heard that. The love I lost. Okay. And you two are in love. So it's... There's something about the love I lost. Uh, yeah, the love I lost. The five of cups. The love is still here. Okay. The two cups are still standing. Absolutely. Let's take this card going forwards. Competition, chaos, conflict. We can't stay in this energy. There's clearly an energy that comes in after the Five of Wands. No one can stay in the Five of Wands energy. Let's take... Three cards going forward. The five of wands can represent, you know, we say competition, but that's just a very kind of blanket term. You know, the five of wands, we look at the card and we see there's so many people on this card. This can represent other people. Um, other people in the way of your connection. Both of you could be with other people right now. Um, there's also this energy of competition. Be wary of what of who surrounds you. There could be somebody in the mix here, both sides or one side, who is competing or who simply is in a lower energy, who doesn't want the best for you too. Okay, so be always be aware of that five of wands. People fighting. Okay. Um, but I don't see it as you two. I see it as something or somebody surrounding you. Let's 
let's take three cards going forwards. And let's now take these cards. Yeah, who or what is triggering you? You're both kind of triggering each other here. It's it's very intense, okay? Um, summertime, there's something that's happening right now, okay? There's something happening right now. Um, absolutely. Um, okay, let's take these cards. The strength energy. The ten of cups. And the two of cups. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Stay strong. There's, there's resolution here. There's a way forwards. You two are going to fight through this. And you're going to come out the other side. To where you were. The Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups. With this Ten of Cups. On the timeline. Is truly beautiful. Especially as we have it in the past. So there's a very strong message for some of you. The love that you lost is returning. Okay. It's very, very powerful. And the, But this time. It's kind of like it's. Uh, it's in perfect balance, okay? This is about, you know, plowing through the turmoil, the chaos, the conflict, and coming out of the other side stronger, okay? So let's take this outcome card now. It's called the outcome card, but it's much more than this. It's the overarching energy for the whole reading. The big message the universe wants you to hear. The clarity, the guidance and the prediction. And we have manifestation. There it is. The king of pentacles. Abundance. This is beautiful. Let's take three cards for overall clarity, guidance and prediction. take a look we have the four of cups the knight of swords so this and then and the high priestess this is about the energy is that right now it may not feel like any of this is possible the four and the five okay because it at the moment it's kind of like all about the love i lost however there's communication coming in here. Um, and it's fast. And it's urgent. And it's life-changing. Um, and there's something deep inside of both of you knowing that this, it's just a matter of time. That's what I get here. So I'm going to leave that one there. If you found the reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, you'll uh, see my next reading. Um, I am going to be trying to upload more. I've been exceptionally busy with private readings. Um, but I'm going to, you know, do my utmost this week to, uh, you know, provide more uh, of these readings for you. Okay, so I'll leave that one there. And I really hope you found it helpful. So now let's move on to set of cards number three. Okay. 
So right now, I'm moving on to this set of cards number three. How does he feel about me right now? So let's go ahead and place these cards down. So as I do, I just want to quickly mention, if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal, and I do offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours, and that is available seven days a week. So let's go ahead now. You and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. So let's go ahead. We have the King of Swords for you and the Seven of Wands for them. Okay, so there are, what I'm getting here is that the, there's some kind of barrier okay there's something that needs to be overcome in this connection you know it they know it now see the seven of wands and you know immediately i'm seeing like all of these wands on this card can represent different elements of them and their life okay whatever's there's something in the way here but whatever it is it, they they want to overcome it okay um you know that this isn't kind of like plain sailing that this is gonna kind of involve there could be some time involved okay because the, the King of Swords is about planning, um, making sure that everything is like all set up, right place, right time, those sorts of energies. But we do need to go deeper here. So let's let's do that now. Um, we could be dealing with, clearly, you know, they could be uh, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. You could be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, that can be also vice versa. Um, let's continue. Let's take three cards for them. They want to overcome the obstacles. And they're very passionate about you. That is what's coming through immediately, okay? Um, let's continue. They're frustrated that they can't get to you. Now like I say, these ones represent all different elements. Immediately I'm seeing the frustration with the manifestation. This could be that they're at a distance from you, okay? Um, let's continue. Ten of Pentacles, oh beautiful. And the Ten of Cups, oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Whatever's in the way, they want to overcome it. They just want to be with you, you know? It's clear to me, and they're very, very frustrated. Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Ten of Cups. This is the card of long-term commitment. This is the card of emotional completion and bonding between two people who are in love. They're in love with you. And they're very frustrated about whatever obstacles are in the way. Okay? Very clear to me. Um, let's continue. That energy towards you. Whatever it is that's in the way, they are done with it. Okay? They're ready to just drop everything. To break through. To come towards you. That There's something here about them having the weight of the world on their shoulders. And they're ready to let it all go. Okay, seven of wands and the ten of wands. Very powerful. They're, they're about to literally just do whatever it takes 
okay let's take three more of that energy towards you there's something here about time you two might not have seen each other for 10 years okay 10 years plus um let's take three the energy and feelings towards you okay the two of cups now i have to say if this is resonating go back and take a look at the set of cards number two absolutely um the two of cups they want to be with you they want to leave everything behind so they can come and be with you um eight of wands oh and the return yeah so for some of you there's a clear message coming through this is somebody you may not have seen for approximately 10 years um and all they do is literally remember you and they want to literally drop what they're doing right now to just be with you and for some of you they are desperately um kind of like wanting uh things to change very very rapidly here okay with this eight of wands energy you want things to you're you're the same you, you want things to transform also their energy towards you the ten of wands your energy towards them the ten of swords and you're both figuring it out okay um let's take a look the past yeah ten of pentacles you two have always wanted to be together you always imagined yourselves with each other there's no doubt about it no doubt you two could have split 10 years ago and for the whole 10 years all you've done is think about each other we've got that energy coming through um you know you two could even for some of you you two have reconnected you've re sort of come back into some form of communication um now for others of you you're literally trying to figure out how to reconnect okay you're both very deeply emotional about each other you're both very off balance because of just how powerful this is it's very clear to me uh, and there's some weighing up to be done there may well be some decisions to have to make um yeah knight of swords like what I'm getting here is you two know you two are one step away from the next chapter of your lives. Okay? The Knight of Swords. The conversation that changes everything. Let's take a look. Yeah, at birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So there's... There's kind of like, like, I just get this energy of a brand new beginning and you, it's kind of like, you may not see it coming. You may, it may not feel like that now. Um, but there's something intuitively uh, with this person on your mind. You, you can't, you can't shake them off because you, you've always known that there was something destined here, that it was always destined um yeah time there's been this has been just waiting to blossom to grow incubation birthing a new age um there's something here about you two having babies in the future okay also let's take three cards going forwards
Okay, let's take a look. Five of Swords. Two of Pentacles. There's a roller coaster. Okay. Um, there's, there are obstacles, could be another person. Um, there's no doubt about that. Uh, there's a, there could be a, uh, literally a battle to, to fight for each other here. You both want to fight for each other. And it, there's some unstable energy. There could, there could be a roller coaster here. Um, oh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. And time. Okay. There's some time involved. But look at this. Ace of Cups. Serious commitment. Brand new beginnings. Things being brought into a beautiful balance. But sometimes, you know, with the temperance energy, time and patience are involved. Okay. So let's take this outcome card now. It's called the outcome card, but it's much more than this. It's the overarching energy for the whole reading. The big message the universe wants you to hear. The clarity, the guidance, and the prediction. And we have success. You know, the best card in the entire deck of tarot things being successful and it can represent somebody being a whole world apart from you but then they always come back around okay it always comes back around to successful completion that's what i'm getting here so i'll leave that there i really hope that you found it helpful um just to let you know i'm gonna really be trying to get some more um readings up for you this week i've just been exceptionally busy with private readings um, so if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Okay then, bye.